Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Dom and today we are checking out the PlayStation 4 DualShock 4 controller and comparing it to the PlayStation 3 DualShock 3 controller. So we are just going to take a quick look at the packaging here and then we will get into the box and do a quick comparison between these two controllers here. On the back side of the box, we just get some more information detailing the features here with the DualShock 4 controller, but we will go over all of those within this video. Let's go ahead and get this out of the box. So all we have to do is pull open the flap on the back Backside, and then we can release the DualShock 4 controller. Now it's important to note that the DualShock 4 controller does not come with a micro USB cable, so you're going to have to use your own or use the one supplied with your PlayStation 4. But here is a little quick start guide that comes with the controller in case you wanted to look it over. But let's move on to the stars of the show here, which are the DualShock 3 controller and the DualShock 4 controller. Before we get into that comparison, let's go ahead and take a look at the top side of the controller here. As you can see, one noticeable difference is that big white bar at the top. Now that is the light bar that will connect to the PlayStation camera and track your movement in certain games. And as you can see, when I press the PlayStation button there, it actually lit up for me a little bit. But let's go ahead and continue on with the comparison here. As you can see on the DualShock 4 controller, we do have micro USB, whereas on the DualShock 3 controller, we only have mini USB. So that's definitely a notable change there. Maybe it'll work better with some of the cables you have laying around in case you lose the cable that comes with the PlayStation. But one huge difference here is the triggers. That's the first thing I noticed. They are shaped entirely different, much more like actual triggers, the little attachments that you would buy for the DualShock 3 controller. And I actually prefer that design over the old style, but I guess it's personal preference. Now, another thing here is the shape of the joysticks here. So we actually have a much more defined shape on the DualShock 4 controller, whereas the DualShock 3 controller just had more of a rounded top there. Now, looking at the side of these controllers, we definitely have a huge difference in grip. I personally prefer the DualShock 4 controller over the old version. I think it's more comfortable it just fits in your hand overall a little bit better but again the curve is different there so it's going to take some adjustment to getting used to the new controller style if you're used to playing with these on a regular basis you're definitely going to feel that difference when you start using a PlayStation 4 controller so taking a look at the top side of the DS4 controller you can see that we have a giant touchpad in the middle which does support multi-touch now on the left and right side of that we have a share and options button and then right below the touchpad we have have a speaker. Now another thing to note here is that the touchpad is actually a giant button as well and as you can see we do not have any start or select buttons present on the front side or any side of this controller. Another thing I notice here is that the joysticks actually sit a little bit lower on the DualShock 4 controller than they do on the DualShock 3 controller. I guess it just comes down to personal preference with that one. But overall, I do enjoy the feeling of the lower joysticks here on the DualShock 4 controller. I think it's definitely a change for the better. And in case you wanted to see it, here's just a quick look at the overall ergonomics of the controller. It's definitely changed in shape a little bit. It is easier to hold in my opinion. I just prefer uh, the fact fatter grips on the DualShock 4 controller compared to the DualShock 3 controller and you can see the differences here as well on the back how the shape is different between the two. Another great feature here on the DualShock 4 controller is the fact that you can take any pair of headphones and plug them straight into the controller via the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and you can listen to gameplay audio, you can listen to movies, music, anything like that without disturbing the ones around you. Now alternatively you can take a compatible headset and use it for in-game voice chat and stuff like that but I'm really in love with this headphone jack right here I think it's a great addition to the controller one last thing I noticed here is that there are no player indicator lights on the back of the DualShock 4 controller now this means that you won't be able to tell which control is connected to which player on the console now I can't say this for sure because I haven't connected this controller to a PlayStation 4 yet but at first glance that's what I noticed and I thought I'd let you guys know Overall, I definitely enjoy the new design found on the DualShock 4 controller. It feels great in your hands and it has more weight to it than the previous generation. And also I noticed the build quality seems a little bit better, meaning that it will hold up better over time with your console. As far as design is concerned, I definitely think this is an upgrade over the DualShock 3 controller, but at the end of the day, it's gonna come down to personal preference and gaming style. That being said, let me know what you think about the DualShock 4 controller down in the comments section below and be 
be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. For continued coverage on the PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed already, and leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching everybody, I really appreciate it. This is Dom, and have a great day.